the crowd, and the congresswoman. We're here today to let them know we won't go down without a fight. Met the motorcade of GOP vice presidential nominee Paul Ryan. One of the protesters was 39-year-old Katina Carter. She says she is disabled and distraught over paying for her health care. I mean, I don't have the kind of money in my bank account. Ryan attended a $250 per couple fundraiser for Senate candidate Tommy Thompson at the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee. Here we are at the scene of the crime. Cameras were not allowed into the private event, but at a press conference afterwards, Thompson called the fundraiser successful, and he defended the GOP's plan to overhaul Medicare. All they know is that we're going to just somehow allow Medicare to continue. Thompson says Medicare spending is driving the national debt and it is increasing at an unsustainable pace. The worst thing for us to do for the seniors of America, the seniors of Wisconsin, is to allow Medicare to go broke. Because if Medicare goes broke, those individuals that rely upon that safety net are going to end up without Medicare. Democratic Senate candidate Tammy Baldwin was campaigning in Madison. She says the Ryan budget, which Thompson endorses, would dismantle Medicare. An election about whether the people are going to have a voice or the powerful are going to have a voice, and um, I'm, I'm running to fight for the people.